All right, folks, today we're using the uh, Mi A3 for the first segment here, uh, and then we'll get back to you with the rest of the whole mess. Uh, after that, I suggest you watch the entire video, folks. Don't stop now. Big news. I'll let you know right after the intro. All right, folks. All right, time to sit tight, and we're going to go over the Mi A3. First, let's just get the specs out of the way. Snapdragon 665 Octa-Core. More than fast enough to play all your games, so get over that stuff that you have to have, like a poof, explosively fast one. 4 gig of RAM, plenty. And uh, the cameras are absolutely stellar on this front and rear uh, they don't admittedly you're stuck shooting 1080 30 for the most part and we're gonna try to lock the exposure here uh, which we should have done at the beginning but that's okay uh, so as you can see i've got all my apps back on here after doing a restore or most of them. There's no reason for me to leave them on there in the foreseeable future. As a matter of fact, uh, none at all. But yesterday, uh, by the way, if you want to find out about the cameras, <sighs> go to the channel page when you're done viewing the whole video where maybe I'll, I'll stick it in as part of the end screen and uh, we'll work on it from there uh, look for camera shootout I did it within like a week week and a half ago might have been closer to two weeks ago you'll find it if you can figure out how to search for it if you don't know how to do that, oh my God. So, is this a great camera, as far, or is this a great phone for the average budget user with 64 gig of RAM on board as it comes from the factory and the four mega RAM? Absolutely. As a budget user, you're probably shooting pictures of the grandma, grandpa, where grandma and grandpa are shooting their kids and their grandkids and, you know, maybe going on a vacation and taking a few snapshots. That's, it's absolutely stellar. 48 megapixel, you use this pixel binning, or you can shoot in straight 48 megapixel. You're going to use a lot more storage. But the average person ain't ever going to run out of that initial 64. And uh, yesterday, this phone got Android 10. So as you'll notice, if I open uh, my uh, app tray, oh, it's dark, and so are all the apps. Or the, it's really dark theme, not dark mode, by the way. And you can just add that right in, turn it on, turn it off as your heart desires. Uh, it does come with the in-screen <sighs> fingerprint reader, which I hate, and I've taken up using the, uh, what do you call it, face unlock. I know it's unsecure, but I only need it on for a day or so. And it works real well. And later tonight, I'll set up one index finger from each finger, because it just don't like thumbs and all that. It just doesn't. You have to be just so perfect. I hate in-screen fingerprint readers. There was no reason ever on this phone not to drill a hole right in the back, which this is like the space gray or not quite gray or whatever. We got three cameras. Oh, we got a wide angle. We got a 
you know, 48 megapixel, and then we get, you know, the standard two megapixel depth sensor back there. Uh, just super cool, you know, on a phone that's going to be even cheaper today. Hint, hint, hint. Hang on. Uh, so, even with all my apps being reinstalled, let's check. Oh, uh, first things we'll notice. Uh, well, if you turn the screen, yes, the app home screen rotates. Yay! And, uh, of course, Android 10. So, bleeding edge on the Android. Uh, it should have got it like eight months ago. But that's neither here nor there. But let's go ahead and look in here real quick. Go to my... I use SD Explorer, which I bought the premium version in. And... and I have to get this up where I can see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it. Darn it. <laughs> All right. I have uh, currently, and you probably won't be able to read this on the screen. Mm -hmm. where, where the hell did it go? Uh -huh. Internal memory. We have, after reinstalling all those apps, which most people aren't ever going to install, we have 39.34 gig free. More than enough to get the average budget user cruising down the road for the next year or so. If you just delete stuff you don't need, You'll be a happy camper. Uh, it's got the Google Assistant, which works really well. It's a very fast phone, folks. Uh, more than fast enough. And I managed to stick the uh, uh, nav tray back in it. That was fixed with the... Because I don't like the little pill on the back button. I like my old-fashioned nav bar down here. And by the way, that pill and the other thing, you can switch back to it. Or you can switch to total gestures. They still take up this whole line right along here. So, you can save enough space. And I'm just not into the new technology. So, that's another good thing about this phone. <sighs> what else can I tell you about it? That's good. Now, Android 10, uh, it does have the security patch on it already. Uh, I did yank the SD card out this morning. And so we might as well get to my biggest pet peeve with this phone. Yeah. It, you put an SD card in it to expand it, which is the whole reason I bought it. But, see, I use a lot more... Uh, storage space than a lot of folks. And I tried two, three different app or uh, SD cards, all the same thing. Your SD card is slow. And then usually after about a week, the warning signs pop up. The uh, uh, lift to wake quits working completely. Right now, the lift to work or wake is not on because we're using the face unlock and that's okay. That is my single biggest peeve with this thing because after and then today, this morning, what do I get? Oh, Messenger keeps stopping. I've seen this pattern before and within a couple of days it has ceased to function. So I said, the hell with this. Unplugged the SD card, put it all back together and yeah, we got 40, 39 gig free. That ain't bad, folks. You'll get by on that as an average budget user. You ain't shooting movies. Yeah. 
and you don't need the world's best cameras, but these are awful damned good. No other way to put it. Yeah, yeah now they have 64 gig pixel binning, and I have the uh, um, 108 on some phones. Look at the price on those. They ain't going to go for the price this one goes for. And there is the big news. Huge news, folks. <coughs> uh. Uh. And by the way, I went in and I changed the uh, normal circles to squirkles. And I changed the uh, accent color to like hmm, purple or something up here. Uh, I'll get to move back. There we go. It's hard to do. Yeah. So you can change that once you go to developer options. You just have to become a developer and you click like seven times to go. You're now a developer. And you'll see developer options. You can go in. Change those colors, and you can also, I don't know why you'd want to, the green is just fine, stock one. And you can put the shape of the icons, some people like the teardrops, some people like the big circle. I'm a fan of the squircle. So, hmm. that's all I got there. And, uh, hmm. All my Google apps right there. And I've got my network apps and AirDroid and all the other things on the other. And I still have 39 gig free. And face it, you're not going to put that many apps on. Messenger works fine now, amazingly. But the single worst part of this phone was that SD card thing. And that is because... And pay attention. Right now, this is one of the things you need to keep note of. Because we're going to sell this phone at a ridiculously low price. i got I got to cut my losses somewhere. And you'll get a pretty damn good phone if you can handle living with 64 gig of storage. And folks, I know people with iPhone 7s that came with 64 gig and they don't have a problem. So... Not a big deal for a true budget user. I was going to use this as a true budget phone. Uh, we're going to sell the phone. And the price is going to be $125. You can go anywhere you want on Amazon and see if you can find a 48 megapixel yeah, AI camera that shoots HDR, real photos, or non-HDR. Whatever you want to do, it'll do them all. It's a fantastic camera. You're going to be looking at 180 190 bucks. So this is a steal. And on that note, why... Do I think the SD card is so bad? They're using binned parts, folks. Xiaomi is using binned parts, which means they don't quite pass all the tests from the manufacturer, but they save 50 cents to a dollar per micro SD card reader, which is why we're getting the P30 Lite. It also has a headphone jack. Uh, I don't think it has an IR blaster like this one, but it's got the headphone jack. It's got decent cameras. They ain't as good as this, but they're damn good. And uh, they get the job done. I believe they, well, it has a 1080 display. This one only has a 720, and that's why it doesn't allow you to shoot above 1080. 
and uh, you couldn't watch it on here anyway you know when you go to a website you, uh, and you say you know show me the highest quality you're gonna see 720 720 720 uh but that's okay you're watching youtube and i think yes smartphone Although this is six point, I believe right around 6.1 inches. And who knows? I just got a message. Jesus. Everywhere. My ears. All right. So somebody posted a video or something I need to watch. I'll watch it later. So that being said, and then the last thing. You're going to want to do. Remember here, we're talking $125. That's dirt cheap. Is to follow the instructions in the description below. If you don't, I can't help you. First one who follows all the instructions to the letter. wins the right to purchase it if you want to buy it you know of course there'll be the paypal.me forward slash high end cheap tech and you just send it and hell if somebody buys it today once i have the cash uh i will send it out tomorrow i will find a box i think i have one here uh, so let's go over what will be in the package when you get it? Because this is a pretty good deal, folks. You're going to have the original box. Yeah, straight from the factory. Android One, it's beauteous. So I'm going to yeah, kind of go through it here. A little bit of time. So in the top, you're going to find uh, the... Uh, Little slide out, and don't be stupid like me. Remember, this just slides out. There's your SIM card removal tool. Oh, and this is a GSM phone. Keep that in mind. It'll work on AT&T and T-Mobile guaranteed. Should work on Metro PCS. Uh, it does. It did come with a little smoky case here. I still think the case I'm gonna throw in with it is a little better. So. That's the top of the box. What's under that? Yeah. A warranty card. Yeah. Good luck. And then below that, we've got all our... Hmm. Let me get them out of here. And I'll, I'll stick these back on. Plastic protectors that were stuck to it you know, when I received it in the box. And... Uh, there they are. They're going to have bubbles in it, folks. Get over it. And under that, way down here, you're going to see the original charger, which is 2 amps at 5 volts. And it'll charge up pretty quick. This is a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, by the way. And I haven't even opened it, but this is a USB-A 2. USB-C, plugs right into the butt of the phone, and well, you can probably charge it in, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half. So that's everything that will be in the box once I get it all back in and in place. If and I can. Yes. So, oops. Like I said, these are going to have some wrinkles, but they'll look good. And you'll have your info that was on it, the I, IMEI number, and all that good stuff. So. <sighs> I don't know how the phone's going to fit back in here, really, but it will. Now. What else am I throwing in? 
Now that's a pretty good deal right there for a buck and a quarter. Sorry, folks, the deal doesn't end there at this far there. And far there. Huh. You get this fairly small case, I'll throw that in. You're gonna need this adapter to go from, you know, the, uh, I believe that's a European plug over to US. Uh, and that would be nice. And uh, that's it. Not a bad deal. Remember, I told you to watch the whole thing. So the answer to the secret question of what Tim hates the most about this phone is the fact that Xiaomi used binned parts, parts that are defective. They, they didn't quite pass testing, and they just fail after a few days. There's nothing wrong with your micro SD card, by the way. Just, if you can live with the 64 gig, $125 for this phone is a steal. So make sure you read the entire description below. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you share it with all your friends. Don't tell them what the answers are. And you don't have to be a subscriber. Just live in the United States and I'll get it shipped out as soon as possible. It could be tomorrow. First person to pay. And that'll allow me to eat all weekend. And in the next, waiting for my stimulus check and my unemployment to show up. Uh, and on that note, that's all we got. Check the outro. There'll be a couple of videos in there, probably a recent one. And I don't know, maybe I'll put the camera shootout in there. I doubt it. You're going to have to search for it. Read all the instructions in the description below. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic Friday.